Good Trick Walking Stick by Sherry Mabry Bester, illustrated by Johnny Lambert, read by Mrs. Mother Goose. Good Trick Walking Stick by Sherry Mabry Bester and illustrated by Johnny Lambert. Read by Mrs. Mother Goose. Drop, plop, drop. Tiny eggs fall to the ground like a slow rain on an autumn day. Leaves float on the breeze and hide the eggs. The air turns crisp. Snowflakes drift. The woods are covered in a blanket of white. Underground, buried deep, the eggs are safe. When spring comes, the sun melts the snow. Drip, 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 it warms the earth. An egg moves. Wiggle, 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 pop. Out crawls an insect. It looks like a stick. It can walk. It is a walking stick. The baby walking stick is hungry. She begins her search for food. She finds a leaf that is low to the ground. She eats. Munch! And eats. Munch! And eats. Munch, munch! As the baby walking stick eats, she grows. As she grows, her outer shell or casing becomes tight. The baby walking stick wiggles and stretches. She sheds her casing and grows a new one. The walking stick blends into the forest. Good trick, walking stick. But here comes a bird with keen eyes. Swoop! It grabs the walking stick. The stick insect squirts a bad smelling juice. Ick! The bird spits the walking stick out. Uh oh, the young stick insect has lost a leg. That is all right. She will grow a new one when she grows a new casing. Good trick, walking stick. The stick insect climbs looking for food. Up, up, up she goes. The tree has many leaves. The stick insect will not go hungry. The tree is filled with other stick insects. She will not be alone. Using two claws and a suction cup on each foot, the adult stick insect is a good climber. In the light of the day, she sits perfectly still on a twig. She has turned colors to match the bark. Good trick, walking stick. Some species of walking sticks are able to change color with light or temperature. On a sunny day, the stick insect can turn lighter. That helps it stay hidden in the sunlight and stay cooler. At night, the insect darkens in color. It can then stay warmer and hidden in the dark. Being able to change color is one reason it is so tricky to spot a stick insect. Along comes a hungry squirrel. Uh-oh! The stick insect sways in the breeze with the branches. The squirrel comes near. Its tail brushes the stick insect. Too close! Quick as a sneeze, the stick insect pulls in her legs and drops to the forest floor. Just like a stick falling off a larger branch, the squirrel scurries away. The stick insect is safe. Good trick, walking stick! The walking stick doesn't move. All day, she stays still. She can't run fast. She can't fly. She can only hide, camouflaged like a stick. The sunlight fades. Darkness comes. It is safer now, so the walking stick climbs back up into the tree. She joins the other walking sticks. She has changed color to match the night. Good trick, walking stick. In the dark, birds are no longer looking for food. Squirrels rest. Only night animals move. Munch, munch, crunch, munch. The walking sticks move around too, eating leaves. They eat and eat and eat. Summer begins to fade. Colors pop out on the leaves. Female stick insects spritz their perfume into the cooling air. Male walking sticks smell the perfume. They choose mates. This stick insect does not find a mate. Alone, she sits on a twig until, from high in the tree, one at a time, her eggs fall to the forest floor. Drop, plop, drop. It is like a slow rain on an autumn day. 
Frost lulls the woods toward winter sleep. The air turns crisp and snowflakes drift to the forest floor. But the eggs are safe. Under the snow, inside the seed-like shells, the walking six daughters are growing. Until one day the snow melts. Drip, 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 and spring blooms. Wiggle, 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 pop! Out walk more stick insects. Good trick, walking sticks. The baby walking stick is hungry. She begins her search for food. She finds a leaf that is low to the ground. She eats, munch, and eats, munch. Thanks for reading with us today, friends. It was such a good book. Walking sticks are such miraculous creatures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel, Mrs. Mother Goose. I'll talk to you later.